Hello everybody, my name is Zoe Rebecca, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be how to get out of a funk, how to motivate yourself to be productive. So I've found myself in many, many funks and just feeling unmotivated to do anything productive or to just do anything at all or to take care of myself, basic things like that. So I know that you guys struggle with that stuff too, or many of you do, and I know many people in the world struggle with that and so my aim for this video is to give you some guidance as to how to motivate yourself to be productive and how to get out of a funk or like a hole you made for yourself in your brain you know what i mean like how to get how to dig yourself out of that hole you know what i mean so uh yeah without further ado let's get started so my first thing i have my list here of my points so my first point is to write down a list of your accomplishments a list of your goals and a list of your positive qualities about yourself and these three lists will serve as reminders for your success hopes dreams achievements future and positive traits about yourself just having a reminder of these things will motivate you to push through the hard times and come out the other end stronger so that's pretty self-explanatory right there I don't really feel like I need to explain that anymore so I just generally feel like when you have a visual to look at like an actual list like a to-do list or whatever list it is it's just so much easier for your brain to process and comprehend comprehend what you need to do you know what I mean it's so much more organized when you have a list so I would just say write down a list of your accomplishments so just things you've succeeded at in life things that you've accomplished in life achievements obviously that that's a positive reminder for yourself that you're a good person and you've accomplished many things and it'll motivate you to keep going and trying to accomplish more things because you want to keep adding to that list right and then your positive qualities about yourself like because sometimes I feel like we're we all think very negatively about ourselves unless you're a narcissist or whatever you're actually healthy but I feel like a lot of us struggle with that with just self-hatred and devaluing ourselves and I just feel like just thinking of the positive things about yourself like I feel like I'm generous and compassionate and so I just remind myself of those things when I feel shitty about myself just all the things I've done for other people and then your goals so write down your goals in life you know like small large broad specific whatever you feel or you can write a broad goal and then write little like points next to it that go along with that goal that are like smaller goals to go with that goal you know what I mean so any way you want to organize it just write down those lists to serve as reminders and motivators so my next point is to surround yourself with positive energy hang out with your favorite person mine is my boyfriend Theo so whenever I'm with him I just feel happy and distracted from all the shit going on in my head all the time or hang out with a close friend who you can just talk to about anything and have fun with just surround yourself with an environment that brings you joy and productivity I just feel like when you're surrounding yourself with negative energy and people that bring you down like that just is gonna stress you out and bring you down and your mind will not be in a good place you'll just be stuck in the funk and you won't be motivated to do anything so when you surround yourself with positivity and people who bring you up and people who aid you and guide you in the right direction you're just gonna feel a lot better about yourself and you'll be a lot more productive I feel like that's pretty obvious all right so my next point is to watch your favorite movies or TV shows or YouTube videos watching things like this will help you get lost in the story and distract you or spark your creativity if you simply need a distraction from the stressors of life I highly recommend it so I love to watch movies I as you guys know I want to be a filmmaker so I love watching movies too and watching all the different aspects of it and I just pay attention to everything in movies but you can do that with TV shows or YouTube videos I watch YouTube videos to spark creativity for my own YouTube videos I don't obviously copy other people but I you know use some of their editing or their points that they make in the video and I try to incorporate it into mine because I find it interesting or I find it entertaining or I find it important to share so use inspiration or just use it as a distraction you know what I mean and once you're distracted from the negative thoughts in your head you'll feel a lot more able to be productive you know what I mean all right so basic hygiene tasks and structure like showering brushing teeth and providing a schedule for yourself is also really important in trying to get out of a funk sometimes basic things are difficult when you're depressed or unmotivated so just pushing yourself to take care of your hygiene and set structure for yourself is very beneficial in escaping the funk so if you just set like a loose 
not not too like structured to the point where you're stressed more but just setting like a schedule for yourself it's just gonna organize your brain more and when you surround yourself with a clean environment then your brain is gonna be more organized and clean you know what I mean so my next point is to help others just in general if a friend needs advice you want to make amends with someone you care about you want to mentor someone you want to donate somewhere wherever it is helping other people naturally helps yourself I personally thrive off of being generous and compassionate. It helps me feel like I have purpose and reminds me that I matter to others and to the world. Because sometimes I find myself just super depressed and feeling like I don't matter to the world or to anyone. And just reminding myself of the fact that I've helped so many people and I continue to help other people every day, or at least I try to, has made me realize that I do have purpose and value. And it's a good feeling when you actually feel like you have purpose because like my whole life I felt like worthless. So it's just, it's a great feeling. When you help others, it really helps you naturally. My next point is to plan something exciting. Having something to look forward to will motivate you to do what you need to do in the present. Once you get your productivity out of the way and you accomplish your work, you will have a reward waiting for you. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but just planning like a fun trip or whatever it is, just planning something fun for the future will really get you to focus on what you need to get done now and you'll have a reward waiting for you. And my last point is to distract yourself with puzzles, books, games, whatever you enjoy. Or if you enjoy working, then work. You know what I mean? Like I just started door dashing and it's good money and it's not hard and it's pretty flexible. So I enjoy it. It's a good distraction and it's good money. So, but even if it's not work, if it's more fun things that you like, then distract yourself with puzzles, books, games, whatever you enjoy. I find doing workbooks and puzzles Puzzles. Like it could be jigsaw puzzles or it could be like books with puzzles in it, you know what I mean? But anything like that helps bring me back to a calm state of mind and gets my creative juices flowing. Then I can start to work on the things I need to do, but you can't do your best, most efficient work when your mentality is frantic and flustered. So start with the calming yourself first. So yeah, like when your mind is all frantic and flustered and all over the place and overwhelmed, like you're not gonna do your best work. You're not gonna work efficiently. So I would suggest just calming yourself and distracting yourself and then doing a little bit of work, taking a break, doing a little more work, taking a break. Just don't sit down for all fucking day and do all this shit ton of work. Like, take breaks. So, yeah. So, that's gonna be it for this video. I feel like that was really some good points to help yourself get out of a funk. So, if you want any more videos like this, any videos at all, any suggestions you have, let me know. And, yeah. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Share this video and my channel to those you think might be interested and leave me comments down below. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye.